My name is Monica Wills. I come from Colombia. My name is Lucia Ixtacuy. I come from Mexico. I am Julian Prieto and I am from Colombia and I'm doing a master's in public policy at the Hertz School of Governance. Our this topic is the role of civil society in fighting corruption. Hi, I'm Alina Munjo Pipidi. I am professor of democracy studies at Hertz School, but my main focus of interest in the last years has been actually good governance and anti-corruption. Well, India is perhaps the most interesting uh, case study out of this cluster of cases that we have today, from Brazil to Turkey and from Ukraine to Bulgaria, where we literally see millions of people in the street demanding better governance. But India, unlike all the other cases, actually has come out with a political party whose main program is anti-corruption, which they're offering as an alternative to the political system. Our research plans includes a trip to India. We're planning on interviewing the most relevant stakeholders in this project. What drove us all the way here is to connect the academic part of our investigation with real situations. What is happening here in India, it is very important to us to connect our theory of finding tools to fight corruption and then to see here a real example of how civil society, how citizens are empowering uh, for engaging in this big task of fighting corruption. This is the third instance in post-independence India's history that uh, uh, a number of people, thousands of people, have coalesced on the issue of corruption. You know, the tradition of civil disobedience goes back to, of course, Gandhi in the colonial context, that you follow your conscience and, and oppose unjust policies. My firm belief is that civil society comes into its own when there's a crisis of state power. Political and civil rights are denied to people. Corruption has been really an aspect of India's life. I mean, there is very little things that you can get done in India without either paying money or without having some kind of network. There have been a huge number of things that have come out only because of the I mean, Right to Information Act. There's no two ways about it. Corruption is an institutional crisis and it needs institutional solution. Aam Admi Party is a, a, a force which is created in response to the challenge of the present political class. So we are in this party with the hope that we'll create an alternative politics where there is no tolerance for corruption. So our research center is basically connected with uh, all the intergovernmental organizations and uh, everyone who's working on, on good governance. So whatever students do comes directly into this general tendency that we have of recommending things which are uh, tested as working. Because the number one problem of, uh, of anti-corruption and good governance in general is very, it's very normative. We all know how things should look like. But how to get from where we stand to where we would want to go is really a, a void that nobody has filled. And I think that this dissertation and a few others that we are directing at the center will basically move the world in this direction.